Hello everyone, we are Angelina and Dima from Broken Nature World. And we are starting the hiking season 2019 today, finally, with the warm sunny day today. Today is gonna be an unusual one day hike and completely new experience to us. We are going to be hiking with a donkey. We have been thinking about trying it for a long time now, since we met several donkeys on the Camino and in the countryside. And eight months ago we met a big furry friend of ours now, a big donkey that we spend quite a lot of time with and we feel quite a deep connection with him so we like his character it's quite unusual and interesting he's very active and we like him a lot so we thought why not to try it with him it's gonna be probably quite a challenge but we are ready for it thank you to owners let us do this hike with the donkey and we hope that it's gonna be a big start of our hiking experience with the donkeys We'll see how it goes, if you like it or not. And we'll take you around with us. Let's go! Doesn't know how to well behave. How we're going to tame it? We don't know how to tame it. He's so, he's so strong. We don't know how we're gonna do it because he's so strong, so young. He doesn't want to walk in the right direction. He doesn't have any experience hiking or walking with anybody. I really hope that we it can happen at least like small hike or something. He's so sweet anyway. Not a long time ago the vet was coming to visit him and to well, check it out. And now he remembers that when the owner takes out the rope, it means that it's gonna be checked up by the vet and he doesn't like it. And so now he remembers it. It was like two weeks ago, so probably we have problems with because of that. But let's see. It's gonna be so hard. <laughs> I thought it's gonna be easier. <laughs> so hard the first minutes. <laughs> Very hard. <laughs> yeah, because he's so big. Yeah. And the owner said that you better be at one side and one person will be like behind him so he knows the direction where to go. We have to push him on one side, so he's going straight. Because he really doesn't know how to behave when hiking. <laughs> he's wild and free baby. Also, we wanted to start the hike in the other direction, but the donkey decided his own way. So <laughs> now we're going in reverse direction. Okay, today's your day. And he's going so fast, I so thought he would go like very slow and we would push him forward. Now he's very fast paced. <laughs> you want 
want some carrot. <laughs> he wants to eat all the time. The pocket full of carrots for feeding the donkey, for making him walk. <laughs> He's also so afraid of the sudden sounds. You really need to keep control of what you're saying and laughing like very loudly. So to keep him calm is very important. <laughs> we see it already. It's very strong. Incredibly strong. Yeah. And that's already not like we are walking alone. We have to <laughs> <laughs> respect his pace. We are not used to it, no? Yeah. <laughs> Family selfie. <laughs> <laughs> we badly need the third person <laughs> who would film us <laughs> because it is impossible with this fast pace to film us both like we are walking by the camera as we always do. So challenging with him. Owner said that we need to control him because he would stop every other minute <laughs> to eat the grass. But it's important. Oh, I think so. For him. Mm. And for us, <laughs> apparently, <laughs> we need to rest with him more. <laughs> Eating the branches as well. <laughs> You're the big eater. Yeah. He's eating everything that he sees. <laughs> Have a big excursion today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Normally he's staying at his field like all the time, all the days long. Well, we think it's quite healthy for him to be. Checking out his territory. Once in a while he's stopping and looking around. us when we are passing by. Yeah, because the donkey looks so tremendously big. <laughs> yeah, it's like a beast. I think he's sweating. I don't know anything about the donkey sweating, but we see the drops of water coming off his fur, like above his eyes, if you can see. Mm. I think he's quite hot now. Yeah. And we have to find the water. Him. The fruit should compensate the water a bit, and in the grass there are water drops as well. So we hope he's fine. We are in search for the water. It should be somewhere near. Because the donkey doesn't want to hike anymore. Because he probably wants to drink. You can see the water. If we are right, he wants to drink something, but I really can't know exactly. Won't. You think so? Do you want to drink? You look so sweaty. seem to be so enthusiastic about it as we thought. That's not our way. Come back. Come back. He doesn't want to drink or it doesn't look very good to him. Maybe not enough water, very little stream. But okay. <laughs> Let's continue on. We didn't tell anything about the trail. The trail we are doing today is starting from the village Fedrinyan 
going around the mountains. So we're still in Eastern Pyrenees, where we've been living for the last two years. And yeah. we're doing a hike that we know in the region that we know. I really wanted to at least to know the area where we'll be walking, because with the donkey we'll know what to expect. It will be 17 kilometers more or less, and we want to do it in six hours. Yeah, because we probably will be resting somewhere on the middle, on the forest plains somewhere. Yeah. And we want to take our time to enjoy it. He doesn't want to go uphill. Yeah, that's so obvious. <laughs> like he's looking up and he said, no, no, I want to turn back. Oh. Go downhill. Yes? <laughs> yes. But we have to go. Hmm? What does that mean? <laughs> hmm? That you don't like it with us? You want to go back to your field? I think he tells the other donkeys he's here. Because probably somewhere down there there are more donkeys and he's just calling them. Our dream came true. <laughs> well, even though it's not as easy. I love it. Do you like it? <laughs> yeah. Curious friend is sniffing everything around him. He's particularly interested in the pine trees for whatever reason. <laughs> Don't know why. Just curious baby. He's only two years old by the way. <laughs> so quite young. He says you're always fooling me, going uphill and uphill again. I want to go downhill. has to shed hair for the summer because he's got a lot probably be too hot with all that fur <laughs> he's listening to the forest some sounds that we don't hear probably He tried to escape us, we don't know what to do, but now he seems to wait for us, and thanks God, because if he's gonna run downhill, we wouldn't be able to skip all of this wood and stuff. That would be a nightmare. But he's a good boy. We believe so. said to us that you have to show who is the dominant in your couple so if you don't show that you are stronger kind of then him the donkey he will dominate over you and he will do whatever he wants so this is really important to keep to keep this kind of relationship to keep him calm It's 
the steepest uphill with the donkey. Don't know if you're gonna hike with us or no. He doesn't like it at all. Finally, it seems like the flat route started. Now the donkey is gonna be more happy, more enthusiastic about walking on it. says I'm tired leave me alone let me eat and sleep yeah. <laughs> now we are searching for the place to have a break probably on some meadow I don't really know which place he would like the best because yeah the grass is not very really rich there is not much to eat yeah. Don't know. Maybe over there. But he used to be tied up, obviously. He can hurt himself. He wants to be free. So probably try to create like the space where he can pasture. We'll try. We don't know if we have enough rope. So our theory with the rope didn't work out. He doesn't want to be in the closed space. He's so used to the open spaces and big areas to explore. So now we're thinking how we can eat ourselves because would he let us do it or no? He's really like all over the place. We would let him go if we would know that he wouldn't run away from us. We really have to continue on it seems like. He's like so anxious to continue but we have to eat something so I know what we come up to. <laughs> He's eating some kind of roots. He sniffs so many different things. We think he feels the different animals too, no? The smells. Wild boars or roe deers. Other horses. He's really on alert in an open space like this. He didn't let us eat and have a break because he's all over the place and he does want to stop exactly yeah so we have to continue on yeah. hungry a bit tired already <laughs> of yeah yeah of holding him you know and being afraid that he can escape any minute but that's okay <laughs> that's the sacrifice <laughs> of trying it How we misbehave 
doesn't want to go. He wants to go in reverse direction for whatever reason. He sniffs something and that's it. Not the easiest character to tame. It seems to help to direct him when somebody's walking behind him. Not sure how it helps exactly, but it seems to help. He wants to escape from us. That's the struggle. He doesn't want to continue. He wants to do his own thing. He's really, really tough, really tough. I seem to have lost my husband and the donkey. He's led the rope from his hands and the donkey escaped. Probably he ran towards him. My husband ran towards him and now I don't know if I take the, the right path because you can see there are some steps but maybe it's like from some horses, it's not from them. It's like so crazy. <laughs> Wouldn't think that could end up like this. Know where they end up being, like they were running like crazy or what? What happened to him? So the donkey had escaped from us, but just ran further away on the path. It's the wrong path, like completely like off, off roads or anything. No, we can't just tie them, tie him up because he's like crazy. So yeah. It's like the, it's like taming the bow. We feel like it's impossible because he doesn't know how to behave at all. Now we just pray we can bring him safely back home. Because if not, owners would be really mad at us, probably. Our rope break got off of him. You are the nastiest boy ever. Why did you escape? Crazy. Yeah. Just like crazy experience. <laughs> and now it's like there is nowhere. This pass leads to nowhere. So we have to go back uphill all this way back. Because this isn't the road or anything. Also, we've noticed that the donkey doesn't seem to run away very far if you don't chase him. He runs a little bit and stops at one point, so it's better not to chase him, but kind of approach him slowly and maybe it will help. So that's not to tell that we're experts, but just a first experience, but uh, so, so mad. Sometimes he stops and you don't know whether he will be moving forward or not. He's going in reverse direction once again. He's completely crazy now, we think. That's like a quest, how we could possibly get him back home. We don't know. We don't know any like service we can call so that they can take him. Because I think we are unable to do that completely. We decided to have a break before the donkey comes by himself. <laughs> he escaped once again and now he coming. he's coming himself. He's just unbelievable personality. <laughs> we had to leave him on this path because... He didn't want to go at any means. Yeah. And now we're going to the owner house. To tell him and to hope that we can take him still to go by car some part and then to leave him this way some, somehow because at least there need to be like two strong men to you know to tame him to tame him because we can count myself I can't even hold him properly so probably with two men it's gonna be possible and we hope that he will not wander away too far because he seemed to love this path for any reason yeah and he just stuck in there and just nothing works. Just yeah. like, 
such a crazy adventure, it turned out to be for us. We didn't expect it at all. Now we're feeling so exhausted and hopefully it will turn out fine and we'll find yeah. So we had crazy last two days with this wild beast. He's been really naughty, escaped from us several times. And now as you can see he's fine, pasturing quietly at his field. But before we had the craziest adventure ever in our lives. We don't even know where to start. So when we left you we were going by car to search for the donkey in the forest where he escaped with the owner. It was quite late in the evening and we were searching for him for an hour or so. We were going off the beaten path, descending down in the forest and we thought we saw some traces of him, but it was quite hard because it was uh, getting dark, it was dusky already. So we decided to quit this day and to continue to search in the next day. And so the next day the two of us were out again on the same trail, uh, looking around. We were really tired and exhausted from previous day and almost had no hope to find him. And then when we got on the highest point, and we were up on the mountain, suddenly we heard his sound. He was screaming from somewhere down in the forest. And so when we were already about to quit and to get home again without finding him, so we had to get down to the same forest where we lost him and do the same dead-end path where he escaped from us. Fortunately we found his traces leading down in the forest path, so we were able to find him there. And so he appeared out of nowhere from the forest and approached us, but again, we were absolutely unable to hold him still and he didn't want to follow us. He didn't have any rope on him already, but even if he did, we wouldn't be able to hold him. <laughs> so, because he's so strong and so powerful animal. And he was feeling fine, just behaving like he belongs to forest all his life and it's his natural environment. We're really surprised to see that. So we tried for some time to descend with him down from the mountain to the big route, the main route down in the gorge, but then we faced the obstacle, the you know the cable gate. It was absolutely impossible to break or do anything. So we had to leave him uh, on his place and go back to the owners, to call the owners. So we went there by car with the five more people. This time we had the farmers joining us that have been living all their lives in the region. They are the owners of lots of horses in the area and they know every little beaten path in the forest and it helped a lot. Fortunately he was at the same place. We found him very easily. And from this moment, the most interesting part started. And the craziest. <laughs> he was extremely hard to get a hold of, and he didn't want to move anywhere. So it was the hardest seven kilometers to walk him and direct him in this place. At the end, he started to fight with another donkey. Very fiercely, and it was absolutely impossible to get to take them apart, because they were really cruel to each other, and it was scary to watch. Absolutely the scariest thing ever. And we feel bad because we didn't film any of it. It was a stressful and intense experience for us. Yeah, definitely. We feel really exhausted and tired even now. So we, now we need to recover mentally and physically, you know. But we're happy that at least we filmed the first part of the hike. It was quite nice. It was going smooth. We couldn't even imagine what would happen to us next. But we always try to learn from these experiences and to dig deeper into reasons why it happened. So from this one we learned that hiking with a donkey can be hard and we'll take it seriously the next time around. This particular donkey doesn't know how to behave himself while hiking and doesn't have any experience we think at all. Uh, so we were one of the first people who took them for hiking. And the second reason was his strength. So we underestimated how strong he is and how powerful he is and to get a hold of him you need at least five people to do that and we were only two and couldn't count myself couldn't even hold him like any minute so he was holding him all the time so it was practically one person just and for such naughty and big donkey it is just impossible <laughs> and we already knew that he has quite a strong character he's not quiet uh, or peaceful at any means but we were hoping that because we know him quite well as we said, we're spending with him lots of time, last eight months or so probably. But we realized that hiking is not the same as spending time and communicating with him while he's on his field. Also, we forgot about the springtime season. 
and now is the mating season for the most animals. Yeah, and we think it was part of the reason why he was behaving so weird sometimes, sniffing all the corners and all the bushes and stuff. But well, this was our experience, first experience hiking with Dunkey. As you can see, it wasn't the best or perfect one, but nevertheless, it was fine and we learned a lot from it. Now we'll have more knowledge and more experience and the next time will be better. Hope that you enjoyed it with us and found some information useful. If you have any similar experience or better experience, leave us a comment below. We always love to learn new information and communicating with you. See you on our next adventure. Bye guys!